of profession yesterday today it is a case of profession mr a is the leading tax consultant he has maintained his accounts on cash basis see there are two basis cash and receipt basis accrual basis accrual means what report the receipts and payments on a particular day cash means what cash basis is what report the cash as and when it will be received or paid and i hope it is understood so it is cash basis so 3 years p is received here totally taken for the purpose of tax calculation so 3 years fees the format has been changed today today we will do what in case of profession take total professional incomes minus allowable expenses this is a change in format okay 3 years income 955000 he received present from clients for rendering services more and above fees it is taxable so total 979000 less allowable expenses depreciation on typewriter rate of depreciation is given to allow 15% so 6000 into 15% 900 car expenses 40% i have taken why 40% look at here total car expenses are 18000 but 40% car is used for official purposes 60% for private purposes private use is not allowed only 40% expenses will be considered for tax calculation so 40% into 18000 7200 okay official expenses allowed 40000 full deduction is given salary is allowed revenue expenditure recurring expenditure then depreciation on car again i have taken car value 240000 into 15% rate of depreciation given to you total depreciation comes 36000 but the car is purchased on 10th december the debt is given to you this car is put to use for less than 180 days section 32 of income tax act 1961 provides if the asset is not used for full year or less than 180 days only 50% amount is considered So I will consider 50 percent here. Two lakh forty thousand into 15 percent depreciation is 36 thousand. <coughs> But again in 36 thousand, 40 percent, 60 percent. Official use is 40 percent. Private use is 60 percent. Not allowed. So by 40 percent of 36 thousand, we got the value 14 thousand four hundred. It is for full year, one year, for six months. Or half amount. How much it is? Seven thousand two hundred for six months. Asset is used for less than one eighty days. Very simple. So I took seven thousand two hundred here. Depreciation on car. Okay. Then repairs of office twelve thousand, which are allowed. Official expenses. Interest on loan is paid. Yes, it is revenue expenditure. Allowed interest on loan. Clear. So total income from profession after deducting one lakh twenty thousand three hundred from nine lakh seventy nine thousand comes eight lakh fifty eight thousand seven hundred. This is income from profession. Now we will have to add income from house property as well as income from other sources like winning from lottery and interest on unit trust of India investment. Okay, that's all. We have got house property income also. Rent from let out property is given to you, sixty thousand. That is your gross annual value. Because no municipal value is given, no fair rent is given, but you have actual rent received. That is sixty thousand. That is your gross annual value. Less municipal taxes paid two thousand. Payment side pay diye dekho. Expenses on residential house, or oh sorry let out house, two thousand. Gross annual value minus municipal taxes is equal to net annual value fifty eight thousand. Got it? Less section twenty four deductions. Standard deduction thirty percent of net annual value seventeen thousand four hundred. 
after deducting from net annual value, taxable income from house property is 14,600. Statement number 3, income from other sources, winning from lottery is taxable, it is income from other source, 46,000. And secondly, interest on investment into UTI, Unit Trust of India, it is also taxable, so 12,000. Doro Milanke 58,000 taxable income from other sources. Now what we will do, we will take a gross statement of gross total income. Statement 1, 2 and 3, we will add it together. So statement number 4, gross total income. Number 1, income from profession 858,700 as per state, statement number 1. Second is income from house property 40,600. Same I have carried here. <coughs> Statement number 3, taxable income from other sources 58,000. So total of these 3 incomes is 9,57,300 taxable gross total income it is. So that this shall be the style of presentation. Then you will get full marks. Then I hope it is understood. If any question is there you can ask, any question, any doubts. That's all.